Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos of Phones. Today we're here to talk about how to do long exposure photography on the Google Pixel 4a 5G. Let's get started. So, you just picked up the Pixel 4a with 5G or one of the newer Google Pixel phones and you're curious about how you can do long exposure photography in the native camera app. Google's astrophotography and night sight capability that comes standard in newer Pixel phones is going to combine traditional long exposure with Google's camera AI to give you results kind of like this. So in this video, I'm not going to talk at length about what long exposure photography is, because we have a whole video about that up there. And I'm also not going to talk at length about the Pixel 4a with 5G's camera because I did a full review on that up there as well. So yeah. So that you have enough context for this video, I'll tell you that when you're doing long exposure, what you're doing is keeping your camera's sensor open for longer, which allows more light to come in. The result of that is that you get these light blurs like I'm showing you right now. You also can strategically use long exposure photography to do something called light painting, which if you want more information about that, you can click on the other video up there in the top right hand corner. Another use of long exposure photography and something that Google includes native in their camera apps is astrophotography. My favorite thing to do with astrophotography is star trails, which it takes like 45 minutes to an hour to get results like this, whereas the Pixel, but the 3a and the 4a with 5g, those are the two that I've used. Um, the astrophotography takes anywhere from 45 seconds to three and a half minutes to give your results a little more like this. For purposes of this video though, I just wanted to do basic long exposure, which means I wanted to capture cars over the course of however long and have their headlights create those light blurs, just as like a way to test if this was going to do what I thought it was going to do. Now, in practice, what I did was I got out at about 5.30 in the morning and found a relatively busy intersection near where I live in downtown Denver. What ended up happening though was by about 6.20, which sunrise was about 6.45, by like 6.20, the astrophotography mode on the Pixel was, it was no longer working, right? So like you go into the night site and it, if your phone is stable enough and it's dark enough, Google's AI will recognize that it wants to engage astrophotography mode. And it looks like this. When it gets too light though, the AI just doesn't engage and you're left just doing the night sight thing, which doesn't capture nearly enough to give you those light blurs. So after this first photo shoot day, whatever you want to call it, I came home and started putting the video together and realized that I wanted to try to solve this problem for you because I don't want to give you videos that don't solve your problems. Yeah, over the course of thinking for an afternoon, I came up with the idea to try and use a neutral density filter, which is supposed to allow you to shoot in harsh light. And it's essentially like sunglasses for your phone, but you can like adjust the sunglassiness of it. And there's a whole video about it if you want to check it out. But for the purposes of this video, I was able to make, my plan was that I was going to trick Google's AI camera software into thinking it was darker than it was. So I captured this photo in my living room. I popped the maximum neutral density filter on there. I think it's ND512. I'll put a note on the screen to make sure that that's correct. I put this powerful neutral density filter on the phone's camera at like 6.15 in the morning to see if I could like extend the long exposure possible shooting time. Um, and the longest that I was able to get the software to trick itself into doing was 45 seconds, which was disappointing because I did get three and a half minutes here in my living room, which just kind of further proves to me that there's just no control over Google's software like it's just going to do what it wants to do and that's what it is i also feel like it's very important to note that during the course of shooting and i'll show you screen captures of me doing this right now but during the course of shooting you see the light blurs 
beginning to appear on the screen. And when you're doing more traditional long exposure, like I've done on the Nightcap app, for example, on my iPhone 11 Pro, these lines start to appear where the light is, and that's just evidence that like it's working, right? It's kind of like these light trails like build on each other during the course of the long exposure to give you your final result. So doing this on the Pixel and assuming that their long exposure is doing a normal long exposure, I assumed that this would happen. I assumed that over the course of the 45 seconds that the long exposure was occurring, that every car that drove past would just like add more light trails. And that didn't happen. So we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. It definitely helps photos of friends out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people because of the algorithm. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the Pixel astrophotography and night sight's ability to do long exposures. Do you think that this is a legitimate hack? Do you think it you gotta get too lucky? too much work. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts about it. I'd love to talk about it. Yeah. Speaking of talking about things, we do have a little bit of a community building between Instagram and the website and the YouTube channel. And something that I started a couple videos ago and then didn't keep up doing was thanking people for watching and being engaged. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Thanks for watching Black Man Behind the Cam. As always, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell because we're coming at it twice weekly at level photography and filmmaking, tips, tricks, hacks, reviews, unboxings, anything that you could want to know. If you like taking photos and videos, make your phone. Toodles. See you in the next one. Bye.